A leaked document alleges a Russian plan to annex Belarus by 2030. So we don't need any leaked documents to know this already happened in fact. Belarus yesterday was celebrating Independence Day, hooray, but that is strange, it celebrates the liberation of Minsk, not the rest of Belarus, and they are using Lenin over there, which he wasn't fan of Belarus independence. Makes no sense. But there is huge link in between Russia and Belarus, and Belarus is dependent, it's not independent, it's truly dependent on Russia. And not only because both Lukashenko and Putin would love to resurrect USSR, actually both are competing to be new supreme leader. It's not even about how economically Belarus is dependent after sanctions even more from Russia. It just couldn't survive. And it's used as a proxy. Everyone remembers Belarusian apples, actually Polish apples, or Belarusian shrimps, where it's like no country. But let's go back to 2020. We had elections coming and Lukashenko knew something is happening. And what happened? We had the trucks of Oman from St. Petersburg, Russia, without any insignia coming to Minsk to support the regime. Foreign Amon in Minsk. And then, when things went brutal, ONT and BT, national broadcasters, went on the side of nation, then we had a place of FSB agents coming to Minsk and taking over control. And in few waves, when the Belarusian army lost some officers who run, fled the country, and later many refused to join fight with Ukraine, we had, and that was officially said by Lukashenko, we had Russian officers replacing the Belarusian ones in the army. And now we are talking about Russian nukes in Belarus and Russian Wagner in Belarus. There's nothing suggesting that Belarus is independent, not in any way. It's just a proxy puppet country run by Kremlin. Everyone who supports and fights for independence is abroad. And that's something we cannot forget, because Belarus always will be used as a proxy to avoid the sanctions, to go below the fence, to do things for Kremlin. They're doing that all the time. In the same time, we cannot forget about brave people from Belarus who are fighting for freedom in Ukraine, Kalinowski uh, Battalion and many more and who are actively supporting other nations in fight against Russia. We cannot allow ourselves to let them be occupied for another 20-30 years. Żeby Białoruś, sława Ukraini!